Right, so what we've done, we've uh, painted all the insides internally of the wheel arches here on the cabin. That's all done, put uh, mud flaps on now, uh, fixed these, uh, painted the caliper red, and also this has got adjustable coilovers on this uh, particular vehicle. Um, they've been on for some time obviously, but we've adjusted them, we've dropped them down about a quarter of an inch as well at the front. Uh, so we're going to get the wheel back on now, line everything up, and then we'll see what sort of clearance we have here. Right, they're quite sturdy now, the bars on this uh, caddy, uh, sort of fit in, bolted underneath and everything. Right, so we've been working in the engine bay now, got the plastics all treated and everything. Uh, got to tidy these panels up here now, get that sorted out and then we'll move on to the next stage. Headlights are uh, quite dull, um, as I said we're going to start polishing these up now, get these back as they should be. Um, but the, it's taking shape now the vehicle, uh, it's coming on a bit, it's still got a few more bits and pieces uh, to put on it um, before we reveal uh, it to the public. Uh, just to recap on what we've done, we've removed the uh, spur wheel holder from underneath here and uh, this uh, will give us plenty of room at some uh, later date to accommodate a new exhaust system that we're going to uh, be fitting uh, to the cabby in the near future. Similar to the uh, connect that we have, uh, we've put side running bars on. These are done in stainless steel as well and uh, coated in uh, g Technic C5 wheel arm. We've done the uh, change the bumper as well and for the aerodynamics as well underneath. Uh, you can see the fins here. Uh, some are similar in comparison to the Focus RS Mark II bumper this and it does give us the option maybe later on uh, to have two tailpipes coming out the back. We also changed the uh, rear lights as well. Uh, these are smoked uh, so they are quite uniform with the vehicle now and LEDs inside them as well. In, in, internally behind the uh, dishes here, externally on the front faces also done the calipers, they've all been painted and coated in C5 wheel armour and all the wheel arches have been painted as well and we have a new coating here at Top Car Detailing now which is a hydrophobic repellency that's been uh, put on the wheel arches internally so nothing's going to stick to that as well. All done, we've uh, fitted the uh, 19 inch uh, VW sat wheels on the vehicle uh, these are 8.5 GAY, uh, low profile tyres as well, uh, as you can see they are quite, look quite stunning. Also what we can do as well on this particular vehicle is lower the back end more uh, as well as what we also did with this vehicle, uh, we got some uh, trim for the steering wheel, all the seating, uh, got some leather seat covers too, all the dashboard has been uh, cleaned up and what we did as well, we did uh, uh, this coating for the dash in G Technic matte dash so there's no glow coming off it but it looks really uh, cool now the dashboard and that all looks very slick inside and uh, what we'll do now we'll pull the van outside and uh, we'll do a quick walk around uh, video and show you the uh, finished results and how this uh, van looks in the daylight.
thanks once again for watching one of our videos on our YouTube channel. Um, don't forget hit the button below and subscribe and keep up to date with what vehicles that we will be working on in the near future as well. Also don't forget to check out our website at www.topcardetailing.co.uk where we can give you the right advice moving forward for your car and offer you the best detailing packages as well in the North West. Anyhow, I'll have to go now and I'll be back soon with more nice vehicles. Catch you later.